Hey friends and happy holidays. Tonight, I am hanging out at Universal Studios. I am so excited. The park is open till 10 o'clock. It is the day after Christmas. So we decided I wanted to come out and try to take advantage of all the holiday festivities before they're gone. So, let's go do this. I'm excited to actually hang out here. The temperatures have dropped so drastically. We went from 50s or 60s and 50s down to the 30s. So tonight it's gonna get very cold. That also explains my dramatic appearance change. I just wanna try to stay as warm as possible. So I've got this nice little uh, Halloween Horror Nights hoodie that I've been waiting to wear. And uh, I didn't wanna wear my fedora because I don't like the way fedoras look with hoodies. But I'm, I'm feeling comfortable, I'm feeling warm and cozy. It has been about a good month and a half. Every single Saturday, Universal Studios has hit capacity. Today is Saturday, but the day after Christmas, and it hasn't hit capacity yet. Still seems a little bit busy, but not anywhere near what we've been seeing every other Saturday. As you've seen, Despicable Me is about 45 minutes, and actually Shrek is at a two hour wait, but that's because they can only seat so many people in the theater at a time. And some of the other wait times are just gonna look overall very long. But I tell you what, when it gets time for night and the temperature drops real low, I bet you things are gonna be a walk on. I guarantee it actually. So we're not gonna hop in any lines right now. You're looking at Transformers. It looks like it's about a little bit an hour and 20 minute wait from this point. Instead, we're gonna get some, uh, we're gonna get some food. I'm a little hungry. I actually wish I brought a pair of gloves today because my hands are actually very cold. Some people were smarter than me, like Jackie Super Enthused. Look at you. Should have brought gloves, although my hands are still cold under the gloves. It looks like you're going for a trip to Central Park. And now I met up with Jackie. We're gonna go get something to eat. Probably at Finnegan's. Feliz Navidad. This is definitely one of my favorite restaurants at Universal. I never get tired of Finnegan's. It's always got something I haven't tried. We're gonna get some live entertainment too. Looks like they put up some plexiglass so that they can give out more drinks on that side as well. This is one of my favorite places to actually sit and dine. Hi, Merry Christmas. We are definitely gearing up for a very cold night at Universal. Why is it that I just get super excited when it's cold out? Honestly, I love feeling warm but cold at the same time. Like, I like that feeling then being hot so much more. In fact, if Disney World was this temperature all year round, I probably would love it. I know that's like an unpopular opinion, but it's just how I feel. I love being cold and I love being bundled up, but not sweating to death. I don't like that at all. Starting off the night with a harp, and then Jackie got a nice glass of Chardonnay. Also, she's getting the beef stew, and I am going to get the uh, beef tenderloin because i seen that it was served with Brussels sprouts, and I've been really, really craving Brussels sprouts. I love Brussels, I love Brussels sprouts. sprouts yeah. yeah, they're yeah. amazing. Yeah, they're really <laughs> One of the best things about Finnegan's is the soda bread that comes with every meal and the knife that holds the <laughs> soda bread. Look at this. Very fancy, right? Very, very holding it together. Yeah. <laughs> oh, holy moly. What did I get myself into? Because this looks amazing. Jackie's beef stew came, and I feel like that is the perfect cold night meal right there. Mm -hmm. A nice little stew. Yeah. All you need is a fireplace. Yeah. And then the beef tenderloin yeah, came out, good. and I am so impressed. Like I said, I was really in the hankering for Brussels sprouts and carrots, but also the onion and potato web on top. Basically, it's fried onions and fried potatoes kind of mixed together and then the actual filet it's not a big chunk of filet it's little tiny tips but i bet you it's going to be amazing i think i'm going to try a piece of the filet first yes Thank you so much. look at this oh. oh wow it's cooked perfectly a little bit of filet on the day after christmas We're 
both absolutely loving our meals. It's like the perfect like cold chili day meals here. Like I love the filet and I love the like the beef tenderloin itself, but that stew, like Jackie, it's like steaming, so piping hot. I know. I was hoping it would be. Looks like the live entertainment came back on, and it's great that they play some Christmas music or some Irish Christmas music. But just plain Irish music is just amazing as well. So we'll take whatever we get. And I think I'm gonna call it, guys. That was my favorite meal at Universal Studios I've ever had. Hands down, I absolutely loved it. Everything, I loved every single thing about it. And I think for desserts, because it's a cold night, a little hot and tasty hot cocoa with rumple mint sounds amazing. I'm so excited to try this. This is so amazing. And I think he's gonna sing some Bing Crosby in a second. Gets me excited, I love Bing Crosby. Oh, never mind. We're doing a little Christmas in Kalani. I think we're gonna need to move along. Even though I can sit in Finnegan's for probably hours, I absolutely love it in there. I love the atmosphere, I love the music, but we got rides to ride. I wanna go on ET. And plus it's getting dark out and all the Christmas lights are turning on. Even though Christmas was officially over yesterday, I just love seeing everything all merry and bright. It is simply just put the most wonderful time of the year and I absolutely love it no matter where I'm at. If I'm in Pennsylvania, if I'm in Florida, I could be anywhere in the world. Christmas time is still the best time. Now I think it's time we actually head over to ET and luckily we have our express pass with our preferred annual pass because it looks like it's a 45 minute wait. I am so happy for this right now because 45 minutes to ride ET, I think it's well worth it, but we're gonna jump a big portion of that. Oh, it smells amazing in here. I love it. I was just saying about the smell. Don't worry, you were saying how much you love the smell, right? It hits you as soon as you get in here. It was so wonderful to ride ET. It's one of my favorite rides of all time. I absolutely love it. It's a cult. It's an opening day attraction. Unbelievable. But we're gonna move along a little bit and I wanna show you some of the cool Christmas decorations at King's Cross because it's unbelievably magical over there. You can actually get a really good view from it right here in Springfield. Look at that, isn't it beautiful? I absolutely love it. There are two rides actually here for the Simpsons. One of them actually makes you a little motion sickness and the other one's called the Twirl and Hurl. So we're actually gonna ride the Twirl and Hurl and shockingly, that's not the one that actually gets you motion sickness. And plus I'm a big fan of King and we're gonna be able to see all of King Cross lit up as we actually go up a little bit and spin round and round. You can see this is what we're about to do. Kind of like Dumbo or the magic carpets. <laughs> I have not rode this ride probably in 
a good two years. Tonight seems like a great night to actually take it for a spin. You are our captives, and you waited in a long, boring line. <laughs> oh boy. To earn your freedom, you must help us attack Springfield. Okay. Aim your craft at your fellow humans. Oh, I'm actually sliding so away. Come on, they're humans, not right or wrong people. We're descending, we're descending, we're descending. Oh, no. no, 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 we're going down. It was so much fun riding the twirl and hurl. I definitely haven't done that in a long time. And it's amazing all the views that you get of the whole entire park. Anywho's, I think we're gonna move on. Maybe go to Diagon Alley. I wouldn't mind a hot butter beer or a dragon scale. I just like actually just hanging out in Diagon Alley, actually. Look at this, isn't it so beautiful? We're gonna actually head on in there. But another thing that I wanted to point out that I never really point out are the Christmas trees because they have one, two, three, four, five of them all on the different balconies here. And like I said, I'm not a big fan of just the plain white colored lights. I like multicolor, but this literally does just all blend in together perfectly. Jackie's trying to prepare. I'm trying to prepare. Huh? Hello, how are you? Is it so cold that like the window's all, all frosty in here? So cold. He's oh, he's sleeping. Is he sleeping? Too cold for him. He wants to sleep. Couldn't keep his eyes open. <laughs> wow. He's even snoring in there. This, wow. Now it's time to go in. Now, here's a really tough question. Everyone wants to go in through the brick wall. Mm -hmm. But have you ever went in through there? I have. Like it's, I, like it's, I mean, it's nice, but it's not as cool as this, though. I feel like we're gonna do things on our own here. Yeah. Let's see. Is this a better grand reveal? Well, I think when you come out through the brick, you're immediately hit by the dragon, so that's probably the better reveal. But I like actually Weasley's. Because I'm in Diagon Alley and we have the dragon up there and we're gonna definitely wait to get that fire shot I will get myself a dragon scale. I absolutely love the beer in Harry Potter And I can't wait to actually enjoy one during the holidays here because it'll be my first Harry Potter themed beer Since they actually switched over I missed it I missed it. Can you believe it? Couldn't get the camera on in time. Oh No it's coming every 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Exactly 10 minutes. I'll wait right here. Thank you. M Merry Christmas. Here is the menu. They have, of course, the butter beer, the frozen butter beer, the fishy green ale, the gilly water, and then for the different types of brews, we have the wizard brew, the dragon scale, and then also the fire whiskey. Look at the actual tap handle. It's a big dragon. I'm gonna take my dragon scale and drink it next to my little scaly friend here. <laughs> yes! Worth the wait. Now that we've been successfully able to have our dragon scale and also catch the dragon breathing fire, I think we're gonna move along and maybe go on a uh, high speed car chase. Maybe a little fast and furious. Maybe. I don't even know if it's open actually because they've been closing it recently, but it is the weekend so it should be open. This is what I was talking about, Fast and the Furious. It looks like uh, we have a couple TMs photobomb in here. You guys seem like the life of the party over here. Thank you! That's the way! Party to the left, to the left! <laughs> We've never actually been able to come out this side. This is like a different area. Look, there's even like Corona beer zone. Yeah, look at that. This is so awesome. Wait, I'm so confused at where we're even at right now. 
alleyway. Look, we're going in like a alleyway. Go? I've always went in that way. No, that gate's locked. Because of certain licensing agreements, we can't actually film on the ride. Now, we can maybe do a little POV facing us, but we can't show any of the ride for Fast and the Furious. But the ride itself is really not that great. <laughs> oh boy. Are you ready to party? I'm so ready to party. <laughs> oh boy. Listen up, everybody. I mean, how I to That ride absolutely gets you all partied up and ready to go, though. Yeah. Doesn't it? Up, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now that we're done with Fast and the Furious, I want to point out that when we started the night, it was 50 degrees. Now it has dropped down to 41 degrees. It's 8 o'clock, so I really think by 10 o'clock we'll be in the 30s. That's insane, right? 33, 30 degree weather in Florida? I'm happy. I'm loving it. Now we're gonna take a pit stop in Toulouse, maybe grab ourselves an Italian beer. I'm happy to come hang on here. I love the way it looks. And they have it all decorated for the season. I was fortunate enough to eat at a lot of these places actually just a couple days ago I feel like during the Orlando Informer because it was all you can eat and drink throughout the whole entire Universal Studios and Island Adventures. So I was able to eat at a lot of places that I've never eaten before. This being Lou's, I've never actually had their spaghetti and meatballs, and their meatballs were actually pretty good. Like, I didn't think that they were gonna be uh, amazing, but I, they were like actually pretty decent, and I would have never experienced that along with a whole bunch of other restaurants. So if you do wanna check out that video, just look it up. It was, it was actually a great night. I think I've eaten the most amount of food, but today, we're just here to get some good old Moretti's. They have some decent pizza in here too, but a whole tray is like $35. You know, that seems a little steep, especially if you're used to buying the $5 Little Caesar pizza. A nice good break at Lou's was a fantastic idea. Now I think we're gonna head to Transformers. Hopefully we'll get on and off in time enough that we can watch the cinematic spectacular. I don't know why, and we were actually thinking about going to the exact designated spot to watch it, because I've never watched it from the exact spot. Usually I've watched it from the side or from like uh, just an area as I was passing by. So tonight would make a good night to do that. But look how beautiful it is out here right now. Oh, I'm having so much fun right now. I love seeing all of these Christmas lights and hearing the music. Do you remember earlier when I said we won't be waiting any lines anytime soon? I think it was almost an hour and 20 minutes to get on Transformers. Right now it's a five minute wait and we have Express, so I don't think it matters. Let's go get that all spark. You're out of line. He that believes you can help him protect the Allspark, I believe you can too. I accept. So the fate of the company. Now, put on your glasses. Put on your glasses. Okay, put them on, put them on. Okay, recruit. Is this recording? Uh oh, that's trouble, all right. Let's head on back to base. We legitimately just got done. Just in time that we can like head on over to catch this minute spectacular because it starts at 9.45, it's 9.30. So lucky us. So now we're heading right to Central Park to get like the actual preferred viewing area. I'm very excited. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> It's so fun that I'm actually going to watch this for the first time here. When we first came in, we actually ran in and sat in the front row, but they said it's a splash zone. Oh. As a reminder, all guests are required to wear a face covering at all times. Thank you. Just look at how everybody is bundled up. We got blankets, we got hoodies, we got jackets. 
scarves, gloves. This is a once a year kind of thing. You will not see people bundled up like this again until next year probably. Now on a cold night, we did not want to be sitting down there. I wonder if those people know. You're gonna get wet! You guys, you're gonna get splashed! <laughs> And now, as our day comes to an end, we gather to relive these incredible moments in our cinematic celebration. and watching it from Central Park. I highly suggest, if you do plan on watching the show, to just go over to Central Park. Usually, I catch it as I'm walking about the park, but seeing it as it's like supposed to be, the way that they layer it, it was actually a really good show. But 
I think that's gonna do it for me tonight. I had so much fun just hanging out here. It got so cold out. The crowd's just dismembered. Like, they're all gone. I noticed on the way in, uh, Transformers was at almost an hour and 20 minutes wait. And then by the end of the night, just a walk on, like nothing. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.